Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. <clears throat> it's 10 a.m. in Silver Spring, Maryland, USA. The sun is bright. To God alone be the glory. The Bible says, From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of our God be praised. I give you praise, I give you glory, Lord. I th thank you, God, for life. Today, as I breathe this breath of life, it is a sign, O oh God, of your approval upon my life and upon the life of my family and all our loved ones and everybody living today. We thank you for your approval and your green light that has ushered us into a new day. Give us, O oh God, what it will take to succeed in this new day. In the name of Jesus Father, even as I come to you, Lord, your Bible says that anyone that comes to you must know that you are God. Father, I am no one in your presence. Right now, even as I come into your presence, God, I am only but your servant, your servant, Bempo, a sinner, sealed by grace. But that grace of God that you, you send forth from heaven unto me, God. So all that I have and all that I hope to be is nothing before you, O oh God. Lord, I lay down my crown before you today as a sign of respect and surrender that it is you, O oh Lord, who is above all. It is you I have come to worship. In you I live and move and have a being. Father, in the name of Jesus, take over right now. Even as I pray, even as my people are also joining me to pray, may our prayer, O oh God, be attractive, O oh God. May it attract your favor, O oh Lord. May our prayer also be acceptable in your sight. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Mana Rikitaya, above all, O oh Father, let your anointing come down upon me. I pray the same anointing for my brothers and sisters across the globe, and especially those who are standing in the gap as watchmen and praying, O oh Lord. Give us that spiritual prayer, that spiritual power and the anointing of prayer in the name of Jesus, so that we can lift up our voices, O oh Lord, on this earth, because, Lord, we are rooting for you. So far as, Lord, we are concerned, from victory unto victory, O oh God, you will lead your army. Your, your name and your label, O oh God, and your flag will not suffer defeat in our time. We shall lift you higher, O oh Lord, above all else, O oh Lord, for everybody to know that you are God and you have the final word. We thank you, Jesus, for answered prayer. Thank you for the anointing to begin today. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, good morning from America. We salute you wherever you are. I thank God for your life and that of your family and that of my family. Together. We are going to speak some things into the atmosphere by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, just as yesterday, duty calls and therefore my dear wife Dr. Victoria Bambo is <clears throat> on the computer teaching her students. My son, Bernard Bambo, our dear beloved son, He's also busy. He is a student of University of Maryland, a final year student in computer <coughs> science. And even though the, the colleges and the universities are doors are closed, the students are still doing the academic work. Doing uh, still doing their semester academic work. So Bernard is also behind the computer. And then and doing his, I mean his studies and doing his, his online courses. So today I am alone, but I am not.
not alone because the Holy Spirit is with me. Hallelujah. I love my family and we are a team. We love to move together. But glory be to Zakataya. But time, um, uh, duty demands that they must attend to these areas of need. So today, I come to you in the name of Jesus. When uh, together with you, we make an army. We together with Jesus, we make an army. Hallelujah. Today we are going to pray. But before we pray, we go on to, to, to pray for today's topics. Yesterday we, we devoted time to pray for, for, we prayed against the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear is a torment. And I know that <clears throat> God heard our prayer. Today we are going to pray for divine intervention for a breakthrough in vaccine that will combat the COVID-19. All the big companies have, have now been deployed to assist the scientists and the researchers to find a cure and a vaccine to fight the COVID-19. We applaud them and I salute them. They are men and women that God has gifted with the knowledge and science and they are doing their best. The governments also are pumping in funds and resources. But the information we are getting is that that vaccine is nowhere near discovery and some people are, are some some experts are estimating that it will be ready in a year's time but we wouldn't take that report it, even though it's a genuine report coming from experts we wouldn't take that report and so to this today we are going to pray we believe in the report of the Lord. It is the Lord our God that have this finite word. The Bible says that the secret things of this world belong to God. In the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 28, it says, But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. There is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. When the book of Nazar summoned David, summoned Daniel, sorry, Daniel went to him to interpret a dream. And then when that Daniel got there, he said, Hey, oh, king, Mara Makataya, I am Daniel. You know me already. I am nobody. But I have somebody. And I have come in the name of somebody. He is God. And that God that I'm, I'm introducing to you, he is a God in heaven and he reveals the secrets. He is the father who has the storage of mysteries. He is the one who is the custodian of mysteries. The secret things of the Lord belong to the Lord. Daniel told, told Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, if you are looking at me, Daniel, as a human being, I am limited, but I have a God who is unlimited. I, today I stand in the gap together with you as I join my faith together with you. And we want to call on this God in heaven who has the secrets, who has the keys to unlock the mysteries of this world who can tell the secrets of this world to help our scientists to help our doctors to help our pharmaceutical companies to discover the vaccine in the name of Jesus because there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries man the scientists are searching but they have not found it yet how can they find it if the Lord has not helped them in their discovery the Lord of mystery the father of secrets father of Rise in the name of Jesus and drop the knowledge into the mind of the researchers, Manako Takabaya, into the scientists of God, their knowledge of God, help them in the laboratories of God, and may they discover the vaccine. You will give them the secret code, O oh Lord. 
Tell them what, how they can crack the secret code for them to find the vaccine because the ability to amass the mystery of this world belongs to you. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. God is giving me the mandate today. God has given you the mandate today for us to pray for our nation, for us to pray for our world, so that the secret that is hidden from us, the secret that is hidden from governments, the secret that is hidden from scientists, where the knowledge is hiding, the law says that we should call upon him. And so today as I stand, I stand in confidence. I have confidence in the word of God. And I'm standing upon the word of God today. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call to me and I will answer. The Lord have assured me. The Lord have assured you that if only we will stand in the gap when we call upon him then he will answer the bible says him in must three, three. How can two walk except they agree? Man, I'm looking for somebody. Man, please join your faith with my faith today. And let's agree this morning that we shall call in on God. We shall call upon God and say, Father, please come. Please come, oh God. Please visit your planet. The earth is your planet. You put it in place. But right now, there is some spiritual agitation. There is agitation in the spiritual realm. A demon has been released from hell. Manaka, the name is COVID-19, causing a spiritual agitation in the atmosphere. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, it is only you who can cause our scientists and our researchers and our pharmaceutical companies to discover that vaccine. So Lord, the, the thing that they don't know, what they don't know today, it is only you who can deposit in their mind, in their souls, in their spirit, for them to find the cure. In the name of Jesus, we are calling upon you, and we know you will answer, because your Bible says we should call upon you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, we should call upon you, and you will answer. Man, that is not all, the only thing you promised us. You, you are saying to, to us today that you would tell us. Father, tell the scientists. Reveal unto the scientists what to do in order to discover the vaccine. In the name of Jesus, let them find a search. Let them find in their search, Rabba Kobo Zakataya, because you are the custodian of the unsearchable things of this world. Man le riba kaboka takaya. You are you know the death of God. You have planted the solution to COVID-19. Mano Rabakataya. Father, lead your people towards it to Lord. In the name of Jesus. You reveal. God will pray that you reveal the secret of discovering the vaccine to the researchers and the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies. Manore Mekimaha as they search for it. We need a vaccine, O oh Lord, to convert the COVID-19. Manore Mekia, grant them divine success. Manore Mekia, those who are in the laboratories, O oh Lord, working around the clock, O oh Lord. Cause them to find a solution. Because we know that we are human beings. As Daniel accepted. Human beings we are limited. We are efficient. Yes. Because of your gifts that you have put in us. 
But our efficiency without your divine sufficiency is a mere deficiency. Everything attests to the fact that, Lord, if you are not involved, Lord, it will not happen. The Bible says, if it is not you, the Lord, who is keeping watch over the city, in vain are the work of the watchmen. And if it's not you who is building, oh Lord, man putting block upon block of God, man shakota kalikataya, in, in vain are the work of the laborers. Lord, arise in the name of Jesus, and add your efficiency, your, your sufficiency of God, unto the efficiency of the scientists and, and the researchers of God, because if you don't come on our way, if you don't come to help us, oh Lord, we will not be able to find the cure in time, and many will die. But your Bible says, it is not your, your joy, it is not a joy for you to see many people die, but it is a joy to see many people live and come to your salvation knowledge for the sake of your word and for the sake of your name. Your Bible says you have exalted your word above your name. You have a God, you are a God of integrity. And the word of a man of integrity is as good as the man himself. It is as good as the name of the person himself. Then that is why your Bible says you have lifted your word above your name. Now you like a tire so that we can rely on your word. When we rely on your word, it is powerful. Your word is true. Your word is dependable. And your word, oh God, says to oh God that when we call upon you, you will answer and you will tell us, oh Lord, the secret things. Manakotaya, we are calling, we are standing on in the gap today for our world and our planet, oh Lord. We need a vaccine. The researchers are working. Malo Kabakaya, reveal to them your secret. Reveal to them the formula that the new God chemically. They could how they have to combine the chemicals of God to be able to come out out you ever seen in the name of Jesus. Kabola Reba Kabajokitaya Sandari Amakamasaya Mandara Kabajokitaya. Our efficiency without your sufficiency is a mere deficiency. We are looking up to you, heaven. The Bible says that when we lift up our eyes towards the hills, where does our help come from? Our help only comes from you, the God in heaven. That is what Daniel said. There is a God in heaven who intervenes in the affairs of men. There is a God in heaven who is a custodian of all secrets. As they go out to look for solution and how to come out with a cure and a vaccine to combat COVID-19, our hope is in you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Kabola Rakabasakataya. The next prayer, our next prayer, shelter in place, social distancing, and lockdowns has become words of our time. Maryland is on lockdown. Virginia is on lockdown. My country of Beth Ghana is on lockdown. Many nations are on lockdown. All in a bid to stem the flow of coronavirus. The demon assigned in, and who is in charge of spreading the coronavirus is a wicked devil. It's a wicked demon. We can blame our governments and our leaders because they have our interest at heart. Even though we may not like the shelter in place, the stay at home, don't go out we may not like it because we feel restricted and inhibited. I know and understand, especially in my country, Ghana, our economy is not as robust as the US, where they have 
two trillion to dash out. Where I come from, people lay people live by their daily income. So when the nation is on lockdown, there will be agitation, agitation in the heart, fear and panic. Because people live on daily income. And so if they are unable to go out and look for money, then it means that they can feed. And so they can be breaking the rules here and there. And the army that have been released also to ensure the compliance of the lockdown, there is a conflict between them and the citizens. This morning, we are praying. Although our governments have our interests at heart, the lockdown, the shelter in place, it doesn't seem to be working. Because people must live. Lockdowns is biblical. Today we are experiencing it. Some people do not understand and they want to they want to stand against the, the, the governments of the day. Please, please, lockdown is biblical. In Isaiah 26, verse 20. There is nothing new under the sun. That is why God's word tells us in Ecclesiastes. There is nothing new under the sun. There has been a lockdown before in the history of humanity. Isaiah 26 verse 20. The Bible says, Go, my people, enter your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until his wrath has passed by. There has been a time in the history of humanity that God will have had to advise his people to go into their rooms and shut the doors behind them until he, the Lord God Almighty, has driven away the wrath, the plague, the pandemic. So lockdown is not something new. It has happened before. The governments who are introducing the policy of lockdowns and the social distancing protocols, they have our interests at heart. They are at their wit's end. But they are human beings and they are limited. That is all they can do for our safety. Beloved, if any one of us is going to be angry, you must direct your anger to the enemy. The enemy is COVID-19. He has forced us on this planet to do things. And, uh, and, and, and then he's giving us some, introducing some new normal that we don't want. Our anger should not go to government and our leaders. Our anger should be directed to the enemy. So today I came to see somebody, to know somebody, somebody, to find out somebody, to join me today. And then we just redirect the anger, the anger of the righteous people. Let's direct it to the enemy. Manako Shakataya. The Bible says that, that the, our enemy, he is invisible. And the weapons of our warfare, they should not be carnal. And so we can pull down the stronghold. Today, join me, somebody. Let's pull down the stronghold in the name of Jesus. Kaboka Batola Ribikitaya. He has caused an agitation. Manoka Takaya in the atmosphere. Manareka Takaya in the spiritual atmosphere. COVID 19 has caused some agitation. Don't be angry at your government. Don't be angry at anybody. Be angry. Direct your anger towards COVID-19. That is what I want to do. That is what, what, what you should do. And today I want us to stand in the name of Jesus and pray scripturally. 
Uh, we have to pray using the foundation of the word Manaketaya in Ezekiel chapter 12, 22 verse 30. Ezekiel 22 30. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me to the land that I should not destroy, but I found none. Ho ho! Rabba Shokotaya, God have had to advise a people, a generation in time past, to go into their rooms. They should shelter in place. They should lock the doors. Don't even come out. So as to avoid the plague. And then he also is, the Lord is saying today, that at a certain time, in the era of Ezekiel, he God came out looking for people to stand in the gap to become a hedge but he found none when i read this scripture and the holy ghost gave me the meaning and the insight and the illumination i said to myself god not in my generation if you are looking for anybody in my generation in this COVID-19 era, Lord, I volunteer myself. I don't want you to cry out in my generation saying that there is no one. Because my understanding is that though God can do all things, God cannot inter intervene in the face of humanity until we have prayed. God is looking for our prayer to take our prayer and then work upon it. And so if we don't come out of our own will, to pray for him to use the prayer to do many things, then nothing will happen. That is what God was saying for the generation in Ezekiel's time. In my generation, Aloka Boja Katakataya, I am ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, if you need anybody to form a hedge, if you need anybody, oh God, to become a, a, a bunker. If you need anybody to form a wall, if you need anybody to stand in the gap, I am ready, oh God. And Badoka Bagataya, and anybody that is ready, we are we want to join our faith together and stand in the gap today and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Bagataya, arise and let your enemies scatter. Joka Balore Biki Bataya, Mande Kiboka Zakato, Manda Ribiki Bagazakatea, Rabo Shaketa Kea, Manda Neketaya, use me, O Lord, use my prayer, O Lord, Mande Kitakaya, I don't even know how to pray, Manda Sekataya, but thank God for your word. The Bible says, the Holy Spirit will take my prayer, will take my worship, will take my illumination will take my speech and communication and then he will add the Holy Ghost power and anointing on it to help me to pray with groanings oh Lord I don't even know what to pray oh Lord to meet your standards but thank God you have given me a helper the name is Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I call upon you today Take my prayer, O Lord, manekataya kayoka balakataya, manajekataya, and with groanings, O Lord, present my petition to God. We want a we want external external influence, O Lord. Manajekitaya. We want divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Kato kato karabasaya. Because your Bible says in the book of Isaiah 60, verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the gross darkness on the people. God, today in our generation, not in Isaiah's time alone, but in our generation, the year 2020, the year of our Lord, darkness has covered the earth, O Lord. A darkness, a demon has been released from hell. The name is COVID-19, and it's causing fear and panic. It is going through the face of the earth, O Lord, and causing darkness, O Lord. It is quenching the light and the life out of people, out of businesses, out of national economies. Lord, arise in the name of Jesus. Lord, don't sit idle. Don't allow COVID-19 to have the final word. 
Mena je kalore bikira saya mande kabakataya your people are calling upon you from the face of the earth in Europe oh lord in America oh lord in Asia oh lord in Australia oh lord in Africa oh lord father arise hear our voice in the name of Jesus mande kabakataya Isaiah says that's true the Bible says but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen. Mana Ketakaya, upon your word. Father, upon your word. Father, upon your word. Arise, and let the darkness of God evaporate. Let the darkness over evaporate. Let the influence of COVID-19 evaporate from the planet. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 6 verse 2. It's your word. And your Bible says that we should bring you into remembrance about what you have said. You are a father of integrity. This is your word which you have elevated above your name. And your word says that darkness shall cover the earth. This is a prophecy you gave through your servant Isaiah thousands of years ago. Today, Father, I came to announce to you that in our generation, indeed, darkness has covered the earth. And the name of that darkness is called COVID-19. Everywhere there was light, it has come to drown the light. It has come to drown the hope out of your people on your planet. Arise, O God. Arise, O God, with healing in your wings. Arise with healing in your wings. Lord, Isaiah 6, verse 2. Arise, O God, and answer your people as we pray to you, O Lord. Father, arise. With healing in your wings, O God, and heal all the people that the enemy has touched them. Everybody who has become a victim to COVID-19, Lord, heal the person in the name of Jesus. Because your word says, you came to heal. You sent forth your word to heal. Send forth your word, O God, your divine healing from heaven. Let it affect everybody on the on the bed of any hospital, those in quarantine, save them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Arise with healing wings and cause us, O God, to be sheltering under your wings. Though darkness will cover the earth, though COVID-19 will come, that tells me that you knew that COVID-19 will come. And that you wanted me to stand in the gap. Rabaketaya. So I stand in the gap today and I bring this word to your remembrance. Lord, arise with healing in your wings and cause your light and life to spring forth on this surface of this earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 13, Romans 10, 13, that whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Rabba Koshed de Kabakaya. Romans 10 13. Anyone who will call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. We call upon the name of Jesus. Manekaya, let salvation fall. I am calling upon the name of Jesus. So, Father, do your part. Let salvation fall. Let deliverance fall. Let healing fall. According to your word, let it be, O Lord. May it happen. According to your word, in the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We are calling upon your name, O Lord, in the era of COVID-19. Let there be salvation on the face of the earth. Let there be healing in Asia. Let there be healing in Africa. Let there be healing in Americas. Let there be healing, O oh God, in Europe. Let there be healing on, uh, in Australia. Every part, O oh Lord, on this planet of yours, O oh Lord. Let there be healing as we call upon your name. The name Jesus. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Malachi 4 verse 2. 
Your Bible says, But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in its wing, and you will go out and flourish like a, a well-fed cows. You who have control over the future, we are limited. I am only limited. I know what is happening in this hour. I don't even have an inclination about what is going to happen in the next hour. But you do. Because you know all things. And the Bible says, If only I will revere your name. If only I will respect you. And God, you know I do. From my infancy, you know I do. Your reverence to God, the reverence of your name. Maloka bakatara kalori ketaya. Manu arivia your name. Manakata oh reverence God. Rabakata kalogo taba janeke makasaya. Manaroka bakataya. I trust in you. I have confidence in you that you can do something. And therefore, you by your word, you say if I reveal your name, then the sun. That afternoon, that sunny day of righteousness will rise with healing. Father, I am looking forward for your son of righteousness of healing. Made up of healing. Made up of deliverance. In the absence of any vaccine to combat COVID-19. It is the healing, that, divine healing that we need. You are our only last hope. You are our only last for line of defense. Let the sun of righteousness, the healing balm of Gilead, let it rise up today and cause us, O oh Lord, to receive your favor of healing in the name of Jesus. Your Bible says in the book of Malachi 4.2, But for you who revere my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his ways, and you will go out and flourish. Father, we want to come out from the COVID-19 with a testimony according to your word. You say we shall flourish like a well-fed cow. Mandari kabakataya. We are word is true. They are forever established in heaven. And you are watching over them to perform. By Malachi 4.2. By the account in Malachi 4.2. If I only I can revere your name. And I will continue to revere your name. Then you will arise like a son of righteousness. With healings in your wings. Arise O oh God. Arise with your healing. Arise with your deliverance. Arise O oh God. And cause things to happen. By your word. Let it be. By your word, let the sun of righteousness, Arakabo Ketaya, you created the sun and the moon. Maneketaka Leda Kataya, Manekataya, darkness has covered the face of this earth. COVID 19 has caused darkness. Rabako Jakataya, that it has changed the mood of everybody and every person and every culture on the face of the earth. Namakotaya. We don't need the darkness, O oh Lord. We need the sun. We need illumination. We need happiness. We need life. And so let the sun of righteousness arise to drive away the darkness. Man, and cause your people who are today shattering in place to come out, O oh Lord, with a testimony and cause us to flourish like cows. Manareba Kataya, who are well fed. If the enemy thought that we will go under, by your word in Malachi 42, we will not go under. Rabba Zokataya, the businesses are suffering today, but they will not go under. The world economy is suffering today, but it will not go under. The help of many are going down today, but it will not go under. Marriages are suffering today, but they will not go under. By your word, by your word, O oh Lord, your word you have exalted above your name. Your word is efficacy. The efficacy in your word, O oh God. Manare we shall come out after the after the actions of COVID-19. Your Bible says we will go out. 
and we will stand up for God with our chest high and we will come out to God flourishing on the face of your planet, your beautiful planet as a well-fed calf. Larry Kakaya, we will come with our health intact. We shall come with our businesses intact. We shall come out to God with our churches intact. And only you know how we are going to spring forth. Maneri Bakataya, Mande Kadosakataya, in the name of Jesus, let it be according to your word. Rabba Shokitaya Kabosaya, Manara Mikina Kataya, Monori Mikiba Zakitaya, Oleri Mikiba Sandi Mai, Monori Mikiba Kazakitaya, Mona Kasakataya, Maniki Makasaya. Father, we are shattering in place. Yesterday we petitioned you, your throne of grace. Today I am back again with my people of God to petition you. Because though we are shattering in place, in obedience to God, in compliance with the order by our leaders, Father, the report is very clear that people are still dying even though they are sheltering in place. That means that there is no barrier blocking the enemy, that demon called COVID-19. It is able to go into people's homes and still kill them, especially the elderly. Those who are in the shelters of the elderly people, seniors, by nature of their condition of their health, they don't even go out. They are in place. Yet, COVID-19 could go into those shelters and kill them in droves. Today, we stand in the gap. I stand in the gap with anybody joining my faith, his faith, her faith with me, O oh Lord. And we are praying today according to your word in Psalm 19, 19 to 1 verse 1 to 6. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Father, in the name of Jesus, shelter us in place under the shadow of you, the Almighty. Cause us to dwell in the in your secret place where COVID-19 cannot come. Our homes by themselves is not deterrent to God. It's not secure. Because COVID-19 is spirit. But we are human. It is only your spirit of God that can fight against the demon of God that is causing people to die in groves. The seniors, they are in their shelter. They don't go out in the first place. Yet they are dying. How can COVID-19 enter into the shelter where there is no... Where? And then kill them. It tells me today, oh God, if it's not the Lord that is keeping watch over the city, in vain are the work of the watchers and the watchmen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that Asia, America, Africa, Europe, Australia, all the continents on the face of this earth, they will all be shattering in you, O oh Lord, the Most High. Let your shadow fall upon your planet, upon every continent, upon every nation, upon every citizen. In the name of Jesus, right now, you are Balokataya, by your word. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Let us be resting in your shadow. Manarekataya, we pray your shadow over the continent, O Lord. We pray your shadow over the nations, O Lord. By now, all the scientists of God and all the knowledge of the world has been made useless. COVID-19 has neutralized everything that we know. Maneri Kaboja Kataya, cause us, O Lord, to dwell in your shelter, especially the seniors, O Lord. Maneri Kataya, I pray that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
Will you shelter us in place in your name where COVID-19 cannot come in your secret place, in your shadow, under your shadow, under your shadow, under your shadow. I pray Africa, under your shadow. I pray America, under your shadow. I pray Europe, under your shadow. I pray, oh Lord, for Australia, under your shadow. And I pray Asia, under your shadow. Because whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, will abide under the shadow of your almighty. It's only your shadow of God that can protect us in the name of Jesus. Verse 3 of, of 91. Verse 3 of uh, Psalm 91. Your Bible says, Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Father, we are depending on your faithfulness. You have never failed before. And you will not experiment it with us today. Father, this is your word. Your word is that surely. That means that we are assured that you will save us from the foulest snare. Today in our generation and in our time, there is a fowler called COVID-19 who is ensnaring many, O oh God, on your planet, killing many, devastating the things that we know as a people. Your salvation, you have promised your salvation by your word. Save us, O Lord, from the foulest snare. Take, take us, O God, from the snare of COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, by your word, let it be. Take everybody, O God. Take our families, O God, from the harm's way. From harm's way, O Lord. Father, you are, you are the Spirit of God. And your eyes are moving to and fro on the face of this earth. And so you can, Lord, observe the, the roots and the routes of COVID-19. Father, wherever COVID-19 is walking in the air or on the land, Father, save your people. Do not meet COVID-19. Do not, oh God, allow the demon called COVID-19 to cross our path. Save us, oh Lord. Save us from him. Save us from that demon. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your Bible says in verse 4, Psalm 91 verse 4, He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings, you will find refuge. Lord, cover us, O Lord. Cover your planet, O God, with your wings. Under your fathers, O Lord, let us find refuge. We are praying for refuge, O God. We are praying for divine security. Under your wings, all the continents, O Lord, we are praying them under your wings, O God. In the name of Jesus, save us. Save us, O Lord. Verse 5. Of Psalm 91. You will not fear the terror of night. Nor the narrow. The arrow that flies by day. Nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness. Nor the plague that destroys by midday. This is what your word says. You knew that there will be a plague. That will cause panic and fear and trepidation on our earth. And you said in Psalm 91 verse 5 that we will not fear the terror of the night. We will not fear. If COVID-19 is coming to meet us in the night or in the day. His arrows that he's throwing at us. We will not fear. Because the arrows are flying both in the day and in the night. Manoko Bakataya, your Bible says the demon is prowling, going around the world, prowling, oh God, and just as is 
is plowing his its way through it it was looking for somebody to devour by a bible says that no the snare you will make us escape from the snare of the fowler rabo shaka toka magataya but we will not fear the 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 news of the pestilence lord the world has a reason to fear because of the devastation covid 19 is causing the havoc it is causing father in our society we believe that people that are rich they can defend themselves from these virus and diseases but in our time it has so happened as the queen of england the queen of england very astute very noble who know hygiene who can observe all the social distancing and everything and in fact he was social he had socially distanced herself and the report says she has moved from where she was into one of her estates and yet COVID-19 was able to trace her where she was hiding and affected her her son, the prince, has also been affected by COVID-19. The prime minister of England has also been affected. And even the princess in Spain has become a casualty, dead. Lord, that fear that you said, we will not fear. That terror that you said, we will not fear that pestilence that you said in your word that it will not come close to our dwelling the news you are hearing now lord is not encouraging because the cream the cream of our society or oh, they are all going down god hear our cry and rise up if the people who are on top manako jakataya have become casualty then those who are down, what will be their fate? Manakesha Kataya. Father, COVID-19 is causing a stir, a fear, and a pandemic. In Obokabaka, the pandemic is causing fear and panic. Rabbi Jokataya, it is taking in its wake people that matter in our society. Made Kataya, and by virtue of what it has done, everybody will is alert and alarm of God. By your Bible says, We will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys in the midday. By your word, Manosha Kataya, we say, Father, rise up, O God, and build a hedge around our people, O Lord. Build your, your head around your people in the name of Jesus. Build your head around those of us in Africa. Build your head around those in America. Build your head around those in Europe, oh Lord. Build the head of God. Manakataya. Your Bible says the devil will come like a flood, but you will raise a standard against him. Father, raise a standard, oh God. Manakataya. So the devil cannot flow over. Raise a high standard. So COVID-19 cannot cross over. In the name of Jesus. Save us. Save us, Lord. Hear our cry and save our world. In the name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pleading the blood. Over our family. We plead the blood. Over husbands, we plead the blood. Over wives, we plead the blood. Over daughters, we plead the blood. Over sons, we plead the blood. Over cousins, we plead the blood. Over nephews, we plead the blood. Over aunties, we plead the blood. Over nieces, we plead the blood. Over our loved ones, oh God, both far and near, in the mighty name of Jesus, do not allow the fear 
we will not fear. In you we will not fear the fear of the devil. In the name of Jesus, do not allow any pestilence, O oh Lord, to come to us, O oh God. Mane kataya in the darkness or in the day. Maja koda kataya. Build a bunker. Moja katala reki takabola barasaya. Build the resistance, O oh God, to your enemy, O oh God, so that it cannot cross over unto us in the name of Jesus. Because if we shatter under your shadow, then we will dwell in your secret place. And we shall say of you, Lord, you are our refuge and our rampart, our God in whom we trust. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The Bible says the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe, O oh Lord. Father, we usher the entire continent on the planet into the blood, Majekatakitakaya, and into the name, Manashekataya. That tower in the name, Majekataya. Father, we are just not praying them, Manakataya, on the blood alone. Makataya. The Bible says that there is a tower in your blood, Mashakataya, where there is safety, Manashakataya. That is where we are ushering every person, O oh Lord. We are Father pray in Jesus' name, Manaketakaya, for angelic help to make sure that you will spread your wings, O oh God, and we will be hiding in the in the, in the tower in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, when the righteous run into it, we shall find safety. The righteous, your people who are called by your name, we are humbling ourselves, O oh Lord, and we are depending on your word. Let your name arise, O oh God. Do something and prove to our world. That you are the God who serve day and night. And you are able to do far more. Exceedingly. And abundantly. Over and above what we can imagine. In the name of Jesus. And in our final prayer. Our final prayer for today. Second Chronicles. Chapter 12 verse 7. Second Chronicles. Chapter 12 verse 7. The Bible says, when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, this word of the Lord came to Shemaiah. Since they have humbled themselves, I will not destroy them, but will soon give them deliverance. My wrath will not be poured out on Jerusalem. Father, this is good news. Second Chronicles chapter 12, verse 7. Your Bible says that when we humble ourselves and pray and you can tell oh god and bear testimony and witness that your people on the face of this earth your children your sons and daughters those who have been saved by the blood of jesus we have been praying we have humbled ourselves and praying some i know are not but those of us who know you are the only last resort and the only one we have confidence in. We have been praying. And by your word of God. In Second Chronicles 7. Second Chronicles 12. 7. Your Bible says. Because we have humbled ourselves. You will not destroy. But you will give us deliverance. By your word. We lift up our hands. And we thank you. For your deliverance that is coming. Father is assuring because the news in the media is not assuring. The graphs we are seeing being bandied about in the media, it enhances fear and panic. But Lord, today we take consolation from your word. Second Chronicles 12 verse 7 that because we are praying because we have humbled ourselves and prayed, you have heard, and you will give us the deliverance. Father, begin to release your deliverance on this planet. Deliver Africa from the hands of COVID-19. Deliver Americas.
from the hands of COVID-19. Deliver Asia from the hands of COVID-19. Deliver the, the Europe, the European continent, oh Lord, from the hands of COVID-19. Deliver Australia from the hands of the COVID-19. Father, deliverance come from you. And by your word, we are standing on your word. In Second Chronicles chapter 12, verse 7, that if we do our part, you will do yours. By your word, in the power of the Holy Ghost, we receive the deliverance of the Lord. We receive your deliverance of God. And I proclaim your deliverance of God from the hands of COVID-19. You who have the final word, thank you for your deliverance of God. Thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all the saints shall say, Amen. Rabba Shukutolo Ribikitaya. Beloved, thank you for joining me in prayer. But in, just in case you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, all the prayer that we have prayed today will not benefit you. You have to surrender your life to Jesus. What is happening in our world is unpredictable. We have prayed that none of us will die. None of us alive today will die from COVID-19. But no, nobody knows what will happen. If today COVID-19, God forbid, if today COVID-19 should knock on your doors, what is what will be your fate? Don't wait until that happens. That demon called COVID-19, that demon that Satan have released from the pit of hell called COVID-19. He's no respecter of persons. It doesn't matter where you live geographically on the space of or any place on the earth. You have been hearing the news, listening to the news, and following the accounts in media. The Queen of England well, has not been spared. And so I submit to you, brother, sister, any defense is a false defense. Anything you are bragging about, or where, where you have invested your hope. It's a false defense. Surrender today. And please give your life to Jesus. When you give your life to Jesus, you don't lose anything. What do you lose? What do you stand to lose? When you give your life to Jesus, the only thing you will lose is your sin. Which you don't need in the first place. Please, surrender to Jesus. Don't listen to all people are saying about religion. We are not talking to you about religion. I'm talking to you about salvation. For John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God has done his part. He has given. So do your part. Because John 3, 16 says, God has given his dear son. And whosoever, whosoever, it means that you qualify not on the basis of your skin color or your geographical location or the economy in which you live. Whosoever means that God has removed every barrier so that you can come to him. Whosoever, whether you are a boy or woman, 
a girl or man, if only you can exercise your will and surrender to, surrender to Jesus, then you will have eternal life. COVID-19 is still hovering around. Nobody can tell what will happen the next hour. Give your life to Jesus. Beloved, give your life to Jesus. What is happening in our world today is unpredictable. We have all been beaten to it. Please, enough of the stubbornness. When you give your life to Jesus, you don't lose anything. All you lose is your sin, which you don't need in the first place. Shall we pray if you are ready? Dear Lord, I surrender to you today and I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Come into my life. <clears throat> Wash all my sins away and make me your own. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Those who have prayed this prayer, those who pray this prayer after me, O Lord, save them, O Lord, and make their life a testimony in their community. May every person know, God, that you have touched them. And in the name of Jesus, help them, O Lord, to live a life worthy of emulation. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal their sick. Deliver them from the oppression, the darkness, and any yoke under which the devil has placed them. By the anointing upon my life, Lord, I speak, O oh Lord, and I break every chain of their lives in the name of Jesus. Every chain of addiction, O oh Lord, I break it off their life in the name of Jesus. Every chain of failure, I break it in, of their life in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak as your servants by the power and by the anointing. And I speak freedom, O oh God, through the atmosphere, through the cyberspace. May it affect them. May they be free. Because when you, the Son, shall set us free and pronounce freedom, then we shall be free indeed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answered prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Beloved, Today, by the grace of God, <clears throat> I'm drawing the curtain on today's prayer. But if you want to contact us, please do so. My name is Apostle Bempo. You can reach me on 315-741-1596. I repeat, 315-741-1596. Bring your prayer request. We shall join our faith with yours and things will happen and your life will never be the same. If you want to write your prayer request also to us, then the address is 9727 Mount Pisgah Road, apartment 712, Silver Spring, Maryland. I repeat, our address is 9727 Mount Pisgah Road, apartment 712, Silver Spring, Maryland, 20903 is a zip code. The zip code is 20903. And if you want to email us also, please do so. You can email us through the church email address. And the church email address is perezchapelusa at gmail.com. perezchapelusa at gmail.com. And my personal email address is also bbampu at gmail.com bbampu at gmail.com you will find all this contact today if you have our facebook you will get it you will get all the information reach out to us O lord in the name of jesus and touch everybody in the name of jesus rabbi zekitaya beloved if you want us to pray for you and pray with you, please feel free to use my number 315-741-1596 or the address 
27 Mampis Girl Road, apartment 712 Silver Spring, Maryland, zip code 20903, or the email USA at gmail.com or mine bbbempo at gmail.com. And we will pray for you and pray with you, and your life will never be the same. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe until we meet again. In Jesus' name, Amen. God loves you, and I do the same with the love of God. God bless you. In Jesus' name, stay blessed and safe. And mind you, we are still observing the protocol. And so, there's a word that has been coined in the Christian circles. That love your neighbor like Jesus. In this COVID-19 era, love your neighbor like Jesus. But wash your hands like Pontius Pilate. That is a word that is going around in the Christian circles. Love the people. Today, they are forcing families to stay together, whether we like it or not. They are occupying your space. <laughs> Tensions are rising. But please, love your wife. Love your husband. It has also been said that <clears throat> women are happy in this COVID-19 era of the lockdown because this is the first time they are seeing the face of their husbands in their homes from morning to afternoon, evening, the second, the next day to the same day, and they love it. Rabba Kataya. Whilst others are rejoicing, there is tension in other, other families too. And so, love your neighbor like Jesus will do. And wash your hands like Pontius Pilate. God be with you. In Jesus' name, till we meet again tomorrow.